Today we're going to talk about scintillating succulents. Everybody loves succulents and well there's a reason for it. They're easy to grow and they're so textural and interesting. I mean look at some of the varieties in succulents that you can purchase. I love Tokyo Sun. It's just the cutest little sedum that can hang over the side of a pot or this sedum called Love's Triangle. You know people know about jade plants and Yet there are many different types of jade plants, including this cute little one again that hangs over the side of a container. What about something like jelly beans? Is that a kick in the plants or what? This prolifica. Look at all the little babies on there taking off. Oh, I love that. Topsy-turvy, topsy-turvy, or calico kitten. Now here's the cool thing about succulents. They're easy to grow because they don't require much water. They don't require much care. In nature, there are many plants that have the ability to conserve water. A ponytail palm is a perfect example, a very popular house plant. Look at this bulbous base on the trunk of this plant. It's basically saying what succulents say to you. I'm a camel, so I don't need much water in between waterings. Yes. Succulents have to wet their plants now and then. When we water succulents, what we want to do is not wet the foliage, but rather get the snout down by the soil. So these plants in nature now and then get a flood. Then they have the ability to conserve moisture until that next flood comes along. So it is not a good idea to water them frequently. They're gonna rot because of that. In addition to that, let the plant conserve the moisture in its fleshy stems until the next time it gets water like it does in nature. Don't spritz them with a water bottle, worst thing that you can do. Now, after that, very, very important to use the right kind of soil, and I recommend cactus mix. Also, what we try to do is use some hydro stones, hydro, water. It helps aerate the soil and provides drainage. One of the funnest things about succulents, I think, is to go to a thrift store. When you go to a thrift store, it's an adventure and you can find 50 cent and one dollar items or a dollar store where we can let our mind wander and create a planter that's fun and interesting. Check this out. Look at this, a soup ladle. It's fun to get interesting and do what I call pink outside the box. Yeah, check out this purse. Again, thrift store material, an old purse, just costs a couple bucks. Now we take this purse and we take what we call a grower container, just a cheap plastic container, and we slide it inside that purse. We're gonna set that succulent right there. I think in this case, with that pink purse, because it has personality. Let's add some calico kitten, shall we? Now again, there are a multitude of things that you can plant succulents in and have fun. I mean, look at this old lampshade. Bought it for 50 cents at the thrift store. We'll put a tray, a little tray, on the underside, plant it with our cactus mix and our hydro stones, and then pick out some succulents to plant in this container. We can do the same with a martini glass. Is that cool or what? Again, think outside the box. Here's an idea. Look at this, Kleenex box cover. Just an old one I bought for a dollar. Once again, get the inexpensive little plastic grower pots. We're gonna put those under the underside and you can see how we could easily plant up this box. This is a really good example of it. An old picture frame. We put wire on the inside with moss and soil, and you can see the green wire here, which was used to help hold the moss in and place it in the frame. Once it's in the frame and wired in the frame, then again, we can take these little pixie succulents, work them into the frame and let them grow until we get to the point where, wow, it's kind of like Vincent Van Gogh, right? I think the key is to let your creativity run away with you. And in addition to that, watch the water. Don't overwater succulents, bright light. 
You've got a lot to work with here, folks. Have fun and enjoy scintillating succulents. Spot of tea, anyone? Thank you very much.